Harold Green, born December 1, 1944, award-winning journalist, read news at KCAL 9 News and CBS 2 News in Los Angeles. Before joining the CBS duopoly, Green enjoyed a long television news career, mostly in Southern California. Green began his career in 1973 when he was hired to help launch the news operations for KCST-TV in San Diego. After serving one year as anchor, news director at Channel 39, he moved over to rival station KGTV where his co-anchoring the news with Jack White and his acclaim for his coverage of the Chicano rights movement helped the station briefly overtake rival KFMB in the ratings. Years later, Jack White became a consultant for the film Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy resulting in the filmmakers finding some old pictures of Green in White's scrapbooks and the look of Ron Burgundy was born. Green would leave San Diego in 1977 for a brief stint at CBS affiliate KPIX-TV in San Francisco, paired with co-anchor Dave McElhatton, a popular local radio personality who himself was in his first year with the station, and after a year in the Bay Area moved to Los Angeles, where he joined the top-rated Eyewitness News on KABC-TV. After two years of co-anchoring the 5 p.m. newscast with the legendary Jerry Dunphy, however, he was fired. KABC management subsequently brought in Ann Martin and veteran Paul Moyer, formerly of KNBC-TV at the time, to present the newscast. Green returned to San Diego and his old evening anchor slot at KGTV, but in 1982 KABC rehired him as a reporter and weekend anchor. His second tenure at KABC, more successful, serving as host, celebrity interviewer of locally produced programs such as Hollywood Close-Up and AM. Los Angeles for the station, he would earn one of ten Golden Mike Awards for his coverage of the Cerritos Air disaster in 1986. Green would weeknight anchor on Eyewitness News, he replaced Dunphy on the 4 and 6 p.m. newscasts when the latter moved to KCAL in 1989 and moved to the 5 and 11 p.m. newscasts replacing Moyer who returned to KNBC in 1992. His co-anchors included Martin 1992 to 1994, Lisa McCree 1994 to 1997, who was tapped to replace Joan London on Good Morning America and Laura Diaz 1997 to 2000. Green exited KABC and signed with KCBS the following January 2001, reuniting him with former Eyewitness News colleagues Anne Martin, who moved to KCBS in 1994, and veteran sportscaster Jim Hill, who rejoined his old station in 1992. Two other KABC colleagues, Diaz in 2002 and weatherman Johnny Mountain in 2005, would join Green and Martin at KCBS, reuniting many of members of KABC's Eyewitness News team during the 1980s and early 1990s. By the time KCBS, KCAL dropped him and several other staffers on April 1, 2008 amid budget cuts, Green had been co-anchoring KCAL's 4 p.m. and KCBS's 6 p.m. newscasts with Martin, who was also laid off. A station source indicated he would retire, but Green had no official comment. The budget cuts caused a trade with KTTV, as Diaz would be sent to that station to help launch its noon newscast in exchange for Green's eventual replacement, Rick Garcia. In addition to his aforementioned Golden Mike Awards, Green's honors also include the Columbia Graduate School of Journalism Award, nine Emmy nominations and two wins, three Edward R. Murrow Awards, and 12 LA Press Club Awards. Green has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6906 Hollywood Boulevard.